Testing. All right, let's see. Let's see the audio is on. All right, let's see. Testing, testing, testing. Let's see if we get an echo here. A mic on. Testing, testing, testing. testing. All right, good. All right, welcome everyone. I don't have anybody online yet. <laughs> this is a really odd time for me to be on because uh, I just set up a YOLO Live Pro and I'm testing it right now. I figured, hey, why not do a live little unboxing of something that I'm trying out right now. This device right over here is called the uh, Ofqua. Ofqua CarPlay device. This is something that uh, is good for just about any vehicle that doesn't have CarPlay or you have a stereo system that you really don't like and you really want to uh, improve on it and basically hopefully make you a little bit of a safer driver. Now the reason why I got this is because uh, I have a Subaru which has absolutely horrible head unit. And on top of the horrible head unit that doesn't work out very well, it actually has a problem with um, with the touchscreen. It just kind of just gave out, and it, it, I just am not able to use it at all. So what I have our options are uh, manually adjusting the radio via the uh, via the steering wheel, which may, mainly I can access the FM signal. I can change the source that it comes in, and that's about it. I had to reset the whole unit because the Bluetooth got messed up too, so I can't even connect to it via my uh, via my phone anymore via Bluetooth. So I looked for some other third-party option without getting a full-on head unit because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the car yet, whether or not I was going to get a whole thing. And then I came across uh, this company. Now this company is a manufacturer of these devices. So there's a lot of them out there being sold right now, but this, I'm actually talking directly with the manufacturer uh, with this unit. Now I'll, I'll mention a little bit more about that as I continue to um, start unboxing the unit. So this uh, right now is like $200. Um, please check out my link down below. It is, uh, it's, it's directly shipped from Amazon. And I have to say that when I got my first unit, this is my second unit, by the way. When I got my first unit, I actually ran into a little bit of a problem with it, and I submitted uh, a, an RMA request. For those of you guys that don't know, basically I submitted a return request with um, with with Ofqua and the company, and I mentioned what was going on with it. And what they did was a customer service person named Kiki, and Kiki, if you're watching this, you are amazing. Um, basically, she wanted to know what was going on. And, you know, I let her know that I had a problem with the audio. And it turns out that the unit that I had was, was defective and it caused distortion from the audio on all sides. First, she was going to say, uh, try to get me a, um, a software update with the engineers. But it turns out that's not going to do anything because I had issues with both the audio line out and then also the Bluetooth. Okay. So she contacted me and was just basically figured out that hey they just got to send me a replacement unit unfortunately the replacement unit that came uh was got mixed up by amazon they actually sent me someone else's package i mean you can't make this stuff up they were basically a bunch of legos inside i know it wasn't a scam or anything like that uh, it wasn't off was doing it was definitely amazon so amazon still hasn't resolved this yet uh they are still probably working on resolving it but uh you know i Ofqua said, hey, regardless, we're going to do our best to take care of you. So come today. I actually got the unit in today. So this is my replacement unit. It's basically the same thing as my other unit uh, before. And uh, basically, it's, it's an exact replacement. So they sell, it appears on their website, they have a couple of different units. Um, they're... Let's see, let me just switch back over here. As you can see, they have a um, couple of seven inch units, actually, and then a double DIN car stereo type of unit that you can go ahead and uh, install in, in your car directly, right? 
So if you want to do a complete install, they got a kit for that. It's only $169. I don't know if that's any good or not, but um, you know you can install that. And these are just kind of add-on units in, in the way that uh, you would go ahead and install and add on a, a GPS to your car, right? So units basically like this, it's relatively slim for what it's got going on in there. And there's different ways you can mount it in there. They give you a couple of different mounts. So here's one of them. This is the suction car mount. This is probably the most popular way that people are gonna go ahead and install this. All right, suction car mount. And then you got these, uh, these T-hook things that are used to, uh, you know, the, to grab onto the back of the unit here. This is not, it's not my favorite way to install or mount these things, but you know, I, I understand. You gotta pick and choose one, and, and this, is the, this is what they chose. So this is how most people are probably gonna mount this, and this will go on either the dashboard or the windshield. So I'll show you some other mounting options. I'm actually gonna use a third party or try to find a third party solution that will work a little bit better uh, than this. This is, of course, it's gonna be sufficient, but I already have enough things uh, blocking my view on the windshield that I'm not gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and add another one of those things. All right. Next, we have the car adapter, which is what you need to plug in. So this, at the very minimum to get this unit working, you need to have this guy plugged in for the power. And since I'm not in the car, um, I'm going to go ahead and plug that in directly onto my, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna plug this in directly onto my little battery pack that I have down below so I can show you how that works. And then this is, depending on the kit that you get, this is the kit with the uh, rear view or just one camera. Okay, so they, I mean, for the price, think about this, about $200 you, or, you know, whatever it is, you also get a little camera that you can go ahead and, and attach this to your license plate. You gotta run the cables yourself. If you're gonna install this, the installation is gonna take a little bit more effort. It's gonna take more work uh, to do. I actually didn't try this, but they, they give you some schematics and some diagrams you can take it to a audio, uh, auto, audio stereo place to do the install. It probably wouldn't cost you much to, to um, set this up. But I don't know, I'm not an audio install installation person. And I already have a rear, rear view backup uh, camera system already on there. So I got that. Or so you get that also in some of the kits. And then this one is the mount for, uh, let's see. This is where you're just gonna stick this directly onto the dash or something. Uh, it's got two sided double sticky foam and then it's got uh, four little holes over there so you can actually uh, screw in to whatever surface that, that you are mounting in case you're custom mounting it somewhere or you don't mind putting a hole in your dashboard. Uh, this is a very solid way to go ahead and do it. Is it the best way? Probably not, um, but if you're just gonna use, the, use a sticky tape and you stick that on there, it, it might be a little bit more secure depending on, on how much surface area you have to give up or you, you or you, uh, that you have available, right? This is, doesn't feel like you're giving up anything. Okay, so those are the two main mounts. They give you some other accessories in here. An additional one, in case you mess up, additional foam mount. Uh, we have this other piece that is also common when you get other, when you get a GPS unit or some sort of dash cam that mounts, it just basically this is a surface that you then stick on something that will hold in place and then it'll allow the suction cup to really hold on really well on this side. This is completely flat and non-porous. And then also they have little areas here for you to go ahead and screw in. That's that's kind of nice. You can either screw in, I suppose, <laughs> or if you have a really messy setup, you could do something else with that. And then finally, we got a standard stereo uh, 1 8 inch um, plugs that you go ahead and uh, if you wanna do the line out output from the Aqua directly to your car, you can do this. Most people are probably gonna switch over or switch back to using um, either Bluetooth, if you have Bluetooth in a car and it's working, or you just use the Bitland speaker if all you want is navigation. And, um, you know, there, there's there's some op other options there. It's just that when you add more of these things, you're just gonna, make it look a little bit more messy when you have all these things plugged in. But the very minimum is you gotta have this power supply thing plugged in. And this is a, 
This is a pretty standard jack. It's not too hard to find. In fact, actually, I'm looking at this. You got some CD players. Uh, my Sony CD player probably has the same plug here. I don't know what it's called. And then you got a um, it, you got the CarPlay uh, manual in here. Now, I don't remember if my first unit came in here, but it uh, looks like they've updated it to give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to go ahead and set it up. And it really isn't that hard, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm just going to go ahead and slide that guy in here. And I'm just going to pretend. <laughs> I'm just going to have this mounted right here on this table here so you can kind of see what's going on on the screen here. Now, um, what I will say is that, uh, you know, the customer service was fantastic. So you run into any issues whatsoever, contact their customer service. Kiki is amazing. And I, I guess it just goes to show that Kiki and her managers are really amazing. They really want you to have a good experience with their product. And it definitely goes to show. Okay, so I'll say that. Uh, there are a lot of ports on here on, on the side. And I'll just quickly go over. There's an AV output port here. There's a cam uh, input here for you to plug in your, uh, your, your camera. You can have a front and a, or a rear camera. Uh, depending on the kit that you have on there. It's also got an, a micro SD slot. So if you want to play some stuff from your tracks, let's say you got an audio book, well, I suppose that makes sense. Or, you know, you download your music or you have your music off offline over here. And then finally, there is a tiny little mic thing over here. Okay. So know that, notice that the mic is on the left-hand side. I don't know how good the mic quality is, to be honest. I haven't really tried that. I'll prob probably just use the Bluetooth headset to be, to, to be sure. But you got that, and then on the top, you got the power button, and then the little reset thing up here. All right, now as I plug this in right now, I want you to know that one of the issues that I had uh, with the unit was that it is so dang bright. Okay, it's too bright at night, and it doesn't get dim enough for me. And the other thing is that it doesn't get bright enough so yeah, in the daylight, if you have this up on the windshield, it actually doesn't uh, get bright enough for my purposes. It isn't. It isn't as clear. Okay, it, it's okay, but it is not as clear as uh, my Garmin GPS unit. And I have some side-by-side -side footage of that, which um, I'll share a little bit more separately. Okay, so if you take a look at this, uh, we have on here a pretty uh, convoluted display or screen going on. There's a lot of things going on in here. All right. And the user guide does show you uh, what, what happens. And I promise you that after you set this up, and I've only set this up with the Apple CarPlay, it's not that bad. Okay. You can do this through the Apple CarPlay wirelessly. And the way you do that is uh, this thing emits a Wi-Fi signal that you will then have your phone automatically connect to when it's nearby, okay? So that's one way, it'll automatically switch over and that's gonna be the iPlay. <laughs> Notice that they're not they're, <laughs> they're not calling it um, CarPlay on here, they're just calling it iPlay. So don't let that confuse you. The next one is Android Auto, it's called A Auto on here. This is using Android, all right? This other one here is AirPlay. That's pretty self-explanatory, I feel. Something that you need to note is that this will not work with, um, this will not actually work with things like, uh, things that have HDCP. So HD content protection, it's not gonna work well with that because like Hulu and let's say you wanna watch Hulu and you wanna stream that on here, you're probably gonna have a problem doing that, okay? So that brings to question exactly what, <laughs> how useful the CarPlay option is. Well, I'll tell you what, if you actually download or use a third-party utility to download um, some uh, tools to convert your video, yeah, you can just stream it directly to here. Or if you have actually have videos right now in your photo library, you can also stream it directly on here. And you can do that all wirelessly. All right, I'm gonna move this a little bit closer to the uh, camera so you can see a little bit better. And then, well, I actually gotta look at it myself because I'm not sure what's next on here. Okay, auto link. I think auto link is related to, um, <laughs> it's also related to Android auto as well. And then you got the settings. Uh, there's a few different, um, there's a few different 
well, I'll say there's a few different languages that are supported. I'll get that get to that later. Then there's the phone, and then the Bluetooth music, the self-explanatory. If you just want to go ahead and stream music directly from your um, your uh, phone or whatever Bluetooth device, you have that. USB, there's actually a USB port on here, which if you want to just manually plug in your phone to access the CarPlay, you can do that. Or you just stick in a USB flash uh, device that has your music and videos and stuff on there. That's what that is for. And then the card option is, of course, micro SD slot. And then finally, we got the FM transmitter. Now, I've tried all these functions uh, separately on that first device, and they all work to some extent. Okay, but it's a little bit kludgy, and and I would just go ahead and say this that if if you intend to watch movies off of this, uh, I probably wouldn't. I would probably just, I mean, if you got a big smartphone, I'd probably watch it from there. You know, like like I I saw in some comments on uh, on the website that some someone was was a, a truck driver and they just kind of want to watch. Uh, movies and stuff off of it and they were using through airplay and, and then they're trying to stream from something like hulu and then they're finding out that it disconnects or it doesn't work very well uh chances are it's going to be a little bit iffy okay uh, i don't think hulu officially supports something like like this device i'm not even sure if this is fully airplay certified uh, but the fact that it works is is pretty awesome okay so i got the power plugged in what i got to do is i actually have to go into the settings I'm going to do this right here, and I'm doing this kind of backwards. I'm not seeing the screen. So depending on the model you have and the different firmware, there's going to be different languages available. Obviously, I'm sticking with English. The speaker is okay. Like, it's okay for uh, audio directions, all right? And in system version, it could be pretty helpful to figure out if you do have an issue with the unit. You can contact Aqua since you're a manufacturer. Um, they'll want information about your system. So I'll just show you what's going on here. So they'll ask for these numbers and these digits to figure out whether or not you are on the latest firmware or whether or not there's some sort of feature that, um, <laughs> you know, that they have released that maybe uh, you need to install in order to get something to work properly or may maybe some compatibility issues. Basically, you know that since you're buying this product and they are, in fact, the manufacturers, you can contact them and maybe they'll have a fix for you. All right, so, so it's been working out so far that way in terms of the customer service. Now, this right here was a little bit confusing to me, and it's just just some settings on, on how you want your, um, your uh, device to function depending on what you're plugged into. Okay, so um, if it's Android, I'm going to use the A-Auto app. If it's Apple device, I'm going to use the, at the Apple CarPlay. I think the other option on here is to do the mirror. All iMirror does, by the way, is it just mirrors what you see on your phone. Okay, so um, so that that's another way to get around stuff like that. Okay, so these are different languages. Keep in mind, I am doing this backwards, so I can't even see the screen except the on this monitor here. Okay, so I'm going back here. You leave this alone. Pretty much, you don't have to do anything. This is where you need to set up your um, your Wi-Fi. Okay, so as you can see. The password is <laughs> 6666 all the way through. I don't know why they did that, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my phone and I'm going to connect onto the Wi-Fi. So when I connect onto the Wi-Fi, and note that if you have some sort of hotspot in your car, uh, you know, you, it's, you're not going to have internet through your hotspot anymore. Okay, so uh, let's see how many sixes is that? One, two, three. Oh, I got it. One, two, three. Four, five, six, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that seven or eight? Eight sixes. All right, that's just the default. You should probably change your password. Okay. So now that I put that Wi-Fi in on, onto the unit, it's actually going to connect to it. And then now, um, when I get into the car, and this, th this guy powers on, it's going to set up its own Wi-Fi signal out, and that's how... That's how it figures out. Okay, I'm going to switch back to home. That's how it's going to switch to um, Apple CarPlay. Okay, so that, that's the way that works. But let, let's see what's going on. I got to reverse this and get a closer look to see what's going on here. So, settings for wire connection, wireless connection. Make sure your phone is confirmed. That's through. This is the part. <laughs> where I ran into a few weird little issues. 
And for whatever reason, later on, it did work. But um, if you do have a problem, the quickest way to get this to work is just to plug in your USB, uh, USB um, cable to your phone. All right, so let, let's see what's going on here. All right, so I'm connected on here. And I have to, no, no, that's it. I'm going to I'm going to flip this back around because I'm going to need to and I'm going to switch this over to uh, so that I can see what's going on on the screen so I can read what's going on. Okay. All right. Okay. Home. Home. Okay. CarPlay. Uh, settings smartphone app device view for wireless. Please use your phone to search this device on Bluetooth. Oh yeah, that's right. I got to connect to it via Bluetooth. So, I got to go to Bluetooth. And I got to set that up too. So I got to go into the settings again, go to the Bluetooth, Bluetooth settings, and connect it as uh, I got to pair it. All right. Bluetooth. There it is. Okay. <laughs> so you, I got to go back. I also have to connect via Bluetooth. I think, I think uh, a little bit lost in translation there. Let's see. So I got to connect via Bluetooth. See, focus, focus. Are we focusing here? Come on, focus. There we go. Focus. All right. So I got a pair. And I got a pair with the Bluetooth. And whether or not I want my favorites and contacts to sync, I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right. Hopefully I'm paired. Am I paired? I'm paired. Okay. Look at that. So I am paired right now right? And I'm doing this completely wirelessly. That's all I got to do. Okay, so I'm going to switch back and show you all that stuff on there right now that is CarPlay on your car. Or basically, all I have is a cigarette lighter connection right now. It's connecting via Bluetooth. And it's connected to my phone right here. I just had to connect onto my Bluetooth and then connect onto the Wi-Fi, I believe, so that I can take advantage of the um, uh, take advantage of take advantage of the uh, Android. No, not the Android. The um, AirPlay. Okay. So, so by default, if you haven't seen the CarPlay, it basically has your map right for your GPS and that's what you want so you have a few other icons on here for typical things that you can play you can totally just play YouTube and stuff on here and you got the phone settings on here and what happens is if I open up a different app so let's say I wanted Spotify in here and I don't have an active uh, paid Spotify subscription I pop open Spotify I can start playing to it let's see I think I was playing Joe Rogan here so, play Joe Rogan and tell it to play to, wait. Like you and you, let's dance. That sounds like he a does. very expensive way of that's, getting hookers. That sounds like what... That's the audio that's coming out from directly from the unit itself. And it's perfectly fine for podcasts. You can see I'm playing a little bit of, of, dollars does as well. yeah, of Joe Rogan right now. Next yeah, level. Yeah. Okay, and then you'll see that there's now a Spotify icon down there. Now, if I go to YouTube, let's see, if I go to YouTube and I go to, let's just say, I want to play one of my uh, other, let's see, play one of my videos, because, you know, copyright, right? Because copyright. Can't really be playing anybody else's stuff without permission. So, I'm going to go to YouTube. Oh. <laughs> The reason why this is taking so long is because I have T-Mobile and the uh, the wireless mobile connection is really bad out here. So it, maybe I won't be able to demonstrate this all that well because um, I'm connected I'm connected via Wi-Fi to the unit right now and via Bluetooth. Okay. I'm gonna see I'm I'm gonna see about AirPlay. All right. 
I'm gonna do AirPlay right now. Okay, so this is AirPlay. Right now, wirelessly from my phone, okay? This is my last live stream. As you can see, it's playing right there. So it's playing, well, it was playing, um, but that's the way that's supposed to work. AirPlay and connect it and then it'll play. And it looks like for this case, okay, let me, let me try that again. Let's see if we run into some issues here. There it is. It's playing, audio is a little bit soft. Um, you can you can adjust that later, but as you can see, it's actually the problem that I think that people have is that it does well for audio, not quite so hot for video. Okay, so that okay, I'm gonna stop playing over there. We'll do we'll do we'll do another test. Okay, um, I'm gonna do see if I can go ahead and switch on screen mirroring. So I'm gonna screen screen mirror my phone and see if we can go ahead and do that here without switching apps. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay. So I'm literally screen mirroring what's what's going on on my screen right now. So this is the control panel so I can I can see what you what what I'm seeing or you can see what I'm seeing on here. Well, let, let me see if I can switch this back a little bit closer so you can you can see what's going on. Um so I am mirroring exactly what's on my screen. Now, I don't think that's, I don't think it's very useful uh, because this is completely in landscape mode. And because it's in landscape mode, you're seeing like a really tiny version of your screen. I think, I suppose uh, where this might be a little bit more helpful is, is look, you're not supposed to, um, you're not supposed to be accessing your phone directly. So if you have your phone all the way up there, uh, and you're like messing around with it as you're driving, that's unsafe. Whereas over here, I suppose you can make the argument that it's a little bit safer for you to uh, keep your eyes within the level line of the um, of the windshield and dash and, and see what's going on. But as you can see, I am mirroring, I'm literally mirroring my screen right now. So it's not gonna be very good for playing stuff like videos. So let me let me go ahead. Let's 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 open up Amazon Prime Video and let's see if we have any issues playing it with it now. Now I am presuming that I have uh, the latest or one of the latest. Okay, so look at that. So I got that. Uh, the new Reacher series from Amazon Prime is awesome. In case you you didn't know, let me see what happens when it when when it tries to play. Keep in mind this is again mirrored option. Oh, look at that. So I switch it off sideways. And let's see if it actually plays. Oh no, wait a second, wait a second. Let's go back, let's go back, let's see if it plays. Let's... So that's that's Jack Reacher. The answer is no, look at that. So, <laughs> it plays on my phone, it will not properly play via AirPlay uh, to the device. So don't get this if you're thinking you're going to use AirPlay and uh, be able to stream videos through something that is copy protected. All right, it's not going to be able to do that. But um, everything else, it's great. So if I want to play some music on here, uh, I can just open up my YouTube music app, which is what I use to play music because I'm already paying for uh, playing Google for the privilege of all that. I could do that easily through the interface without messing with the phone. Basically, I have a modern car interface with an older screen. This this is an older screen. As you can see, I'm already getting some reflections from the back already. And it'll play the music and it'll play through, if I configure the FM radio, it'll play through the FM radio just fine. If I configure the Bluetooth, it should play through Bluetooth is just fine. And actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna test this right now. I, I need to test this to see if this unit is uh, is the fixed version. Okay, let's see, let's see if this is the fixed version. Now, if you're just joining me right now, the reason why I had an issue was um, in terms of returning it is that I had a problem with audio output is extremely distorted. So I'm gonna plug in my headphones right now into the side, right now. 
and play some music from here. And I'm gonna see if it's distorted. <laughs> and if it is, God help me. I, I I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give up and I'll, I'll show you my workaround that that I'm gonna do that's gonna work. I know it's gonna work. It's a little bit more of an, a hassle. It's a little bit more of an issue. It means I gotta click click a bunch of different things to get it to work. Okay, let me let me switch back to home screen. Home, and switch back to iPlay there. Oh, I gotta reconnect again. Bluetooth, yep, connected. Let's play some music. Look at that, switching modes. I think I run into some issues when I'm switching modes because it's not wanting to switch back. All right. Let me figure this out. Give me a second here. I gotta flip the screen back out and take a look at it. Uh, see what's going on. All right, uh, looks like I got someone from Honolulu. Sorry, I was not looking at all the, <laughs> it's not looking at all the, all the, um, all the chat here. Let's see, let's see if I can, let's see if I can get back to the peoples and answer some questions first. Let me get back to, let me get that back close. All right. Aloha, I'm a new car stereo. My radio for the truck broke down. Can the car play movies or music? Okay. All right. Let's, I shall try to answer some of these questions. Okay. Just gonna do the music portion. Uh, movies, well, that's a problem if you are streaming from legit sources. Let's just say that. Okay. Can the car play movies? Yes, it can play mu uh, movies. Yeah, if you download the movies, you can do it. Uh, Amazon sells that, right? Right. Right. It's on Amazon and uh, go. Mikeinger.com forward slash offcore. Okay. Uh, nice pro. Are you going to connect the backup camera to this? No, actually, I'm not. How much did you spend on that thing? Oh yeah, I spent like, I think, I think, I think it was like two hundred dollars. Yeah, two hundred dollars. It's really good. Okay, so those are some of the questions I got. I'm sorry. I got you into this too much, and I forget about this whole live option. And um, yeah, so okay, so I'm going back. I need I need to switch this back out of airplay mode, okay, and reconnect again. So I'm gonna switch back out of here. Here, reconnect, reconnect to airplay. Looks like you know it could be a little bit finicky. You know what's always worked for me with this guy? It's just plugging it in, and it does two two functions that way. Uh, USB port here on the side. I just plug in my phone via USB and then uh, Then it connects immediately up to AirPlay. So all, everything that I need to interface on my um, On my phone while I'm driving I show up here on the screen Right now it's not working. So I'm gonna disconnect. I'm just gonna disconnect power and see if it'll just reconnect automatically. So Just disconnecting reconnecting right now all right, back on, back on. <laughs> As if I always wear, always wear my glasses. Wear my glasses. Okay, yeah, all right. That is playing the music right now. And I better stop that music because I don't want to get a get an issue with um, copyright. All right, let's see. Go back up here and go to the settings. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn off the built-in speaker. Which you could do, you could do that. 
and then go at, go in here and figure that out again, figure out how to do that. It's interesting to me what um, Apple, because this is this is pretty much controlled by Apple, uh, figures figures that you might want um, automatically loaded. Okay, so I, I'm going to turn off. Uh, let me switch this back to. Let me let me zoom in again on here. So I'm going to turn off the built-in speaker, which I find to be uh, annoying because it is not as good as my car speakers, of course. So I'm going to turn that off. That's that that is a setting that is in the menu. So to, in order to navigate that, I have to go back into. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm back in in CarPlay. For whatever reason, when I did the AirPlay mirroring to the unit and then I got out and I turned off the airplane mirroring, it just got confused and it just didn't know like uh, to switch back to CarPlay mode. Okay, so I just unplugged it, plugged it back in, quickest way to get back to the CarPlay mode for whatever reason. Um, so as you can see, this is what uh, Apple thinks. Okay, to get back to the, the um, optical interface, you actually click on Car Home to access the settings. But this is what Apple thinks is appropriate in the car, in CarPlay mode. Look at that, you even have Apple News in here. All right, I understand podcasts, right? I understand uh, uh, audiobooks, the maps, the music. Um, I, I don't understand some of these other things. My guess is they probably pay to be on here like Dunkin' Donuts. You click the button, I guess, to find Dunkin' Donuts. Um, but yeah, some of these things don't quite completely make sense. I got YouTube Music on there. I even have WhatsApp so you can see my messages. Uh, Waze, Spotify, Stitcher, Curio. Out of all my apps, these are what are automatically loaded on here. And it, it could be it could be that if I open up some more apps uh, and then they're CarPlay compatible, they'll show up here too. Okay. All right, now let me, <laughs> what was I doing? Oh yes, yes, I was going in settings. All right, so these are the settings that you can do. And it's interesting about the wallpaper. Let's switch, switch this back here, settings. This is where all the people need to do to go in there and, s and switch up some of uh You can set up what level of driving focus you're gonna do, all right? Whether or not it's gonna announce messages for you as you're driving, uh, that's pretty useful. But you know, if you have on, um, if you have on AirPods or some other Bluetooth thing, you can also have it announce messages to your, directly to your uh, headphones as well. Uh, the appearance, I like it always dark because I like the contrast, it uses less power. You can choose between the wallpaper, suggestions and dashboard, that's interesting. And then you can show album art. I think that's all there is in here. Now, I wonder if there's gonna be some other new things that will um, that will show up here as, as upgrades come along. And I do notice another thing on here, there's no provision directly in here, even though you can connect this to uh, Wi-Fi to upgrade the firmware and software. So I presume periodically you're gonna to wanna to contact Ofqua or Ofqua will contact you, for, uh, people who purchased it to go ahead and update the firmware. And you'll probably just do it through your USB stick or a micro SD card on there. So let me show you my problem with the display. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can show that. I'm gonna to go to car home. All right. <laughs> they have literally two settings on here. Okay, as you can see right now, this is pretty much the perfect environment for for the screen. It's uh, the sun setting. It's like, what, what is it? It's 5.30 p.m. here in California. Got a little bit of sun on here. Um, this is it. This is all you get. You get this, that's bright, okay? And that's dark. There, there's there's nothing else in between. Alcoa, if you're listening, please, I want a slider. I want to be able to get this so dim that, um, you know, it doesn't bug me. And and this does bug me if it's in my line of sight uh, up, up closer to the windshield. So I'm going to have to mount this lower and probably turn it off when, um, when it gets, uh, when it gets dark outside. Okay. And then, and then you, you gotta, you got a dark, well, you, you can switch different themes on here and it's basically just the background. What is the help button? What, that, what that's about? Let's see. Thanks for choosing Hawkwood. Oh, okay. Nice. So you, you press the help button and basically it tells you 
that you can email support at myaqua.com and someone will reach out to you. And, and, and again, as I said, uh, their support has been really good. Okay. Now, I still have the issue, and I, I'm going to listen to this right now to see if I hear distortion uh, from the audio. And if I do, then I'm sorry. I think the best solution in a case like that is to just completely just stream. Like, just stream your music directly from your phone to the Bluetooth of your car. And then don't go through the Aqua device. Uh, I think there's some settings you can do that. That's what I had to do. It's a little bit annoying, uh, but that is the workaround. And if you want um, CarPlay or uh, Android Play, you could definitely uh, consider this if you don't want to upgrade your head unit, number one. Or if you, you know, if you're leasing a car and you got, you're going to return a car every few years, do you really want to put down a couple hundred, six hundred dollars for a head unit to put in there? Um, only to return a car with a head unit. Actually, you might actually have to pay the stereo guy to go ahead and put back your old one in there before you return a car. I, I don't know how that works exactly. So, you know, something like this makes sense for you guys that lease vehicles and don't and just want to keep changing vehicles but want, um, you know, Android Auto or uh, CarPlay on here. So, let's see. Bluetooth settings. Interesting. <laughs> so the unit that I had, <laughs> this unit um, was probably tested by an engineer. And you know why I say that is because, uh, you know, I thought it got a brand new unit, but it has Whaley's iPhone paired to the unit. Okay. Like it's, it's paired. The engineer did not, um, did not reset the unit before, uh, putting this back in a box to send out. Oh, <laughs> one more setting in here. If, if you got the camera option, it only costs a little bit more. Uh, this has a um, park line function feature. And basically this will, this will serve as, uh, this will just basically serve as the guidance for reversing the vehicle. Okay, so you have that option on there. I forgot to mention that. And that's only because I'm not going to install the. I'm not going to install the camera. I already have a rear view um, camera in my car that I find, in my Subaru that I find to be uh, working perfectly. All right, now. Back to my test. I'm going to try to play some music to the unit and see how how uh, how good or bad it sounds. Okay, I'm hearing distortion. Now I'm going to try to maybe maybe what I need to do is I need to lower the volume. Okay, it's better. Honestly, it's not great though. Wait, wait, a little bit better. Okay. It doesn't doesn't seem as distorted. It still doesn't sound great. Let me try playing some other track on here. Okay, well, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. This is, I guess you can consider this a fixed unit because I can now listen to music. And this is the reason why I returned the first one um, without distortion. But I got to tell you, the audio quality of it is not great. Okay, so the audio quality is not good uh, coming from this unit. So do yourself a favor. You get one of these things. You're paying $200 for it. You're not getting really high quality audio um, uh, audio chips in here, whatever. Audio amplifiers, the um, the the headphone or line out doesn't sound great. I, I guess the true test is I'm going to have to test this in a car to figure out whether or not the audio is acceptable or not. But... For the workaround is that what I'm going to do is also have my phone. My phone's going to be connected to two, to two different Bluetooth devices, okay? It's going to be connected to, um, okay, let's see. Yeah, it's going to be connected directly to uh, a third-party Bluetooth thing that I have connected my car to Line Yin. Okay, so that's option number one. And then it's also going to be connected via Bluetooth to this guy. And then I'm going to just pipe all the music and the sound through my phone uh, to the Bluetooth so it doesn't go through the unit at all. 
but I'm gonna have to, in order to do this portion of the sound test, I'm actually gonna have to go to the car and I'm not gonna do this while uh, this, is, this is live. <laughs> Garrett, 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 Garrett. I would love to play some music. Some music on here, but uh, copyright. I, okay, copyright issues. Okay. All right. So this is the. Um, as I said, this is. Oh, this is the Aqua. CarPlay device. It's uh, two hundred dollars uh, right now with the coupon. There's different units available. Uh, this is not sponsored. Uh, I just was going to do a video review on this anyway, and this is what I'm going to be using uh, in my car for now. Okay, so um, at least at least until I make the decision on what kind of head unit I'm going to I'm going to replace in here, and then after I'm done with that, I'm actually going to stick it in my wife's Honda, which is a 2009 that doesn't have Bluetooth and still has a CD player. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll just make sure that my wife has a, a nice unit and she's gonna use Android Auto on it and uh, be able to uh, hopefully be a safer driver because uh, everything that you need from your phone, this is, again, this is connected wirelessly to the, uh, this is connected completely wirelessly. It's wireless CarPlay for $199 uh, to the vehicle. And I think, I think they're one of the first, if not the first only manufacturers uh, that have this. And um, yeah, so I do wanna thank again, one more time, I, I do wanna thank Kiki over at Aqua because uh, of the whole mix up with, um, with me getting Legos and my Aqua device getting sent somewhere else. And if you are that person that got my um, Aqua that was meant for me, <laughs> that got sent via um, Amazon, to you, uh, please get in contact with me. Um, I have your Legos, and I would love to just do an exchange. Um, basically, I give you your Legos back, and you give me uh, the uh, replacement Aqua, Aqua device, or I give that away or give that back to Aqua because uh, clearly we all got what we were not expecting to get um, in, in, this, in this case. All right, let me know if there are any questions down below. Again, I'll have links down, uh, down on the uh, down on the video about this, and I'm going to go ahead and figure out how I'm going to install this install this uh, into my car, on top of the other stuff on there, and whether or not this is going to replace um, my Garmin unit. Okay, so I, I don't I don't know about that yet, and whether or not this mount is going to work for me. Okay, that's it for this video. <laughs> thanks to a few people that are watching here. Garrett, uh, thanks for joining in on here. And uh, aloha in, um, oh man, you, you're in Honolulu. Man, I wish I can go back soon. Man, I miss, I miss Hawaii. So yeah, Garrett, I think this is not a bad idea. Just don't expect it to play movies out of the box. Uh, for $200, you have 30 days. You have 30 days to go ahead and try it out. And there might, I mean, um, I think I paid one, I mean, they have promotions. I think I paid like 160. I mean, you get 160 for a wireless capable uh, Apple CarPlay, okay? And it came with the backup camera, which is, Probably not that great. I'm looking at it right now. It, it's it's going to be enough to see, but it actually has LED uh, lights on there, so you actually see in the dark. That's surprising. And the wires and the kits are all here, so you take it to a uh, car insulation person. The thing with this is that you plug this thing in there. It's got to connect via wires, all right? How many wires do you really want coming out of this thing? And that's just it. I mean, you got another cam wire that needs to go in here, and it's going to stick out the side. Yeah, I would. I probably wouldn't do that. You could. I probably wouldn't do it. And I, I can't imagine that this microphone is going to be better than the iPhone microphone when making a phone call. So, but, but with this, uh, with this capability, um, I, you know, you could just yell out to your uh, assistant and 
it should be able to respond. The built-in speaker is okay for audio and navigation, not for music. So you're gonna have to fuss around a little bit automatically to have it route it. Now, if you have an Android device, uh, what's awesome about Android is that you can control how the audio uh, routes through your phone and to, to your car. So that's not even gonna be an issue if you have an Android phone because you can just say, hey, I want my GPS directions to go to this device and then I want these, this thing to go to this device. I don't even want this to be announced when I'm driving. And then you can say, I want the music to port through this device. And you can all do that on Android. On the Apple, we're not there. Uh, I just, uh, yeah, that's one of the frustrating things about um, Apple devices. You don't have control of that unless you jailbreak it. And I'm not jailbreaking my phone. So, so yeah. All right, once again, uh, this is the Aqua. CarPlay device, this is just a seven inch screen. And it does everything that it says it will do. The FM transmitter is actually really good too. The things it doesn't do very well is uh, the screen is not amazing in really bright light. And it also doesn't get dim enough for me at night in the car. And also the audio quality coming in and out of it isn't great. Okay, so don't port your audio through here. That's it, I mean $200, what are you gonna expect? I mean, it comes with a backup camera. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, and catch you in the next one. Man, this was a long one. How long was I speaking? Man, it's an hour. It's an hour. I should get sponsors for this next time. All right, catch you next one, guys. Thanks for watching.